Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the most important keyboard shortcuts any editor should know ever, and we'll see how to implement these shortcuts in Resolve. Now, um, if you are an advanced user of Resolve, or if you've been editing for a while, I'm sure this will be standard for you, but for anyone who's starting, these are the most important ones, period. So in this video, I'm not going to be showing you keyboard shortcuts. So I'm not going to go, you know what, if you press Q, it does this or L, it does that. Now, these are keyboard shortcuts designs, let's say. And for me, I assigned these shortcuts to certain keyboard uh, uh buttons. However, you might assign them to different buttons entirely, but you need to understand that these options exist in every editing environment. So let's see how to implement them in Resolve. So if you take a look at this timeline here, I have a bunch of clips on my timeline. And let's say you want to trim these clips. What you would usually do is to hover the mouse on top of the edit point and drag, you know, to trim this clip from this side. Let's undo. Uh, a bit more advanced technique is to switch the mode in Resolve from the selection mode to the trim edit mode by simply clicking here. And now I just activated the trim editing mode, which simply means that now if you hover the mouse next to the edge of the clip and you trim, Resolve will close the gap between both films, which is pretty standard. So the first keyboard shortcut here is to trim a clip from one side. So for example, Let's undo. Let's say I want to trim this part from this clip. Now I'll click here to switch back to the selection mode. And I assigned a keyboard shortcut to one of the letters. I'm not going to tell you which keyboard uh, button I'm using because I don't want you to use the same one. I just want you to understand that this exists. Now in Resolve, I assigned a keyboard shortcut to trim end. So if I click a button on the keyboard, I just trimmed this clip from this side. Then I can drag the play hit to this particular frame, for example, when he starts to uh, lift his body. And I can click another keyboard shortcut for trim beginning. So if I click it, I just trimmed the clip from the beginning. So it's pretty simple. The first keyboard shortcut uh, takes the position of the play head and either trims anything after the play head or anything before the play head. Now, that's pretty easy and simple. However, this is not the fastest way to edit. Now, what I want to happen is to click one button and Resolve will, for example, trim anything after the playhead and at the same time closes the gap. And with another keyboard shortcut, Resolve will trim anything before the playhead and close the gap at the same time. To do that in Resolve, I'll simply go to Keyboard Customization, Shortcut, and take a look at this. We have Trim End and Trim Start. So in Resolve, you need to assign a button to Trim End and Trim Start, whatever button works for you. So for example, I'll place the playhead here, and I'll switch the mode now from Selection Mode to the Trim Edit Mode. And now it's the same exact keyboard shortcut. So what happened here is that the keyboard shortcut I uh, assigned to trim beginning or trim end is the same, nothing changed at all. However, what changed now is that we switched the editing mode from selection to trim. And notice now that with one click of a button, Resolve will trim these frames after the playhead and will close the gap. Then for example, if I want to trim the area before the playhead here, I'll use the other keyboard shortcuts to trim from the beginning. And now with one click, see what will happen to these frames. I clicked, so Resolve deleted the frames before the playhead and closed the gap. Now this might seem not important now, but try to edit a one hour film and you'll see how important this is. Because what happens is sometimes you need to work fast. You simply just need to come to this frame when she, for example, starts to lift her hand up and you just need to trim everything before that and close the gap with one click. So I'll simply one click here and I just closed the gap directly. And for example, when the guy moves up again, so the next time he goes up, take a look at 
the image here. I just need to click one button and Resolve trimmed everything after the playhead. And this will allow me to work very, very fast. Take a look at this, for example. I can trim here, there, trim this, and maybe trim this clip here and maybe come to this part, trim the excessive part, for example, come to this frame, trim this part, and this will make you work much, much, much faster. Now, of course, if you're an editor, or if you've been editing for a while, I'm sure you know this, but for beginners, believe me, once you start working this way, you won't believe how much faster you're editing. There is one more keyboard shortcut I wanna discuss here, which is Ripple Cut in Resolve. You just look for Ripple Cut in your keyboard shortcuts and you assign any button that works for you for that. So what Ripple Cut does is pretty simple. For example, I'll select this clip here and I'll hit backspace and note that I deleted the clip, but I still have a gap here that I need to close manually. Uh, there are many ways to close this gap, but I don't want the gap to be created in the first place. I want Resolve to delete a clip and close the gap with one click of a button. And to do that, you need to assign any keyboard shortcut to Ripple Cut. So I'll select this uh, clip here, selected, and now with one click of a button, I deleted this clip and closed the gap directly. So for example, if I don't want this particular clip here, I'll select it and one button and I just deleted the clip and closed the gap. So as I told you, we, we did not discuss keyboard shortcuts. Like I didn't tell you, listen, just click this button and this will happen. These are ideas. Now these keyboard shortcuts will change your life. Uh, if you're beginning, just try them and you'll discover that you can work much, much faster. So if you like this, uh, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free Resolve Crash course that is designed for the absolute beginner. Um, it takes you through every single tab in Resolve. Thank you. Filmsimplified.com.